Don't bother with task books. Don't know why the Imperials like these so much. This should help the boy, though, Malekath willing. Here, let me show you how an orc learns to smith. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. This time I am going to do the location of the last scabbard of Akrash, which is a book that Gorza in Markarth requests of you to find. And I can tell you right now, every time I've played Skyrim, it has been consistently in Fort Sungard, which is where I'm going to be taking you to, to find this lost scarab of Akrash, which is a book. And it's to help Gorza's um, apprentice become better at being a blacksmith. And getting to the Fort Sunguard requires some effort. If you do not do it the right way, this time I ended up climbing up a um, part of the fort and getting into it via hopping climbing method, which is hopefully something they will fix in the next Elder Scrolls. Another easy way to get to the fort is to approach it from the plains area, which I didn't do. But I digress. Let's get on with the getting the last scabbard of Akrash from Fort Sunguard. As I stated before, I decided to do the hoppy climby method up the cliff wall to get to Fort Sunguard, and yeah, this is the hardest way of doing it. You can approach again from the back end, which is the plains, and it's a much easier way of doing things. Once you get to Fort Sunguard, um, you will end up fighting Forsworn, and they are a pain in the ass, which, I mean, if you've leveled up properly, you should be able to take them down like I just did with this guy. I'm going to let things play out a little bit here, and yeah, again, if you're properly leveled up, the basic Force Sworn will go down quickly. One of the things I'll admit, the Forsworn are good archers, and yeah, they do damage when they hit you with their arrows. That is why I'm going to end up healing up here a little bit because of the damage done by archers. And once I take these two archers down, then we can kind of explore the fort, fort a little bit. One of the things is there's usually a Forsworn that you cannot seem to find or get or attack because they're running around and they are an archer and you got to climb up a wall and you got to do all kinds of things. I'm going to fast forward. With that done, Fort Sunguard has multiple areas to explore and 
once you actually, the scarab, the book is in the temple part, but there is this, uh, search the barrel, potatoes, yuck. There's Fort Sungard Tower. There is some mining equipment and some place where you can mine. If you go through, to be honest with you, there's not a lot here we're taking, so I'm going to fast forward through this. If you like to explore all the little nitty-gritty details, yeah, then it's going to take you a while. That's why I fast-forwarded through. The next is the Annex, which, again, there's really not a lot worth taking here. It contains cells, which you will have to pick, and some other things. Again, I'm just going to fast-forward through this. Once you get out of the annex, then you can travel over. Um, I'm looking around here. There's nothing out here. The next one you want to go to, I've done the tower. Um, grab the hanging moss. Then you can go to... There's this area. I mean, you got some great views of the valley below. And you can see why this fort is essential. But the next thing you want to go to, there is the Fort Sunguard Shrine. And this is the shrine to Kinnereth. And then there is really, if you look around, there is not a lot here. There is a alchemy lab, and then there's this storage box, which you have to pick. And again, more, more picks you have, at least 100 if you're low level, and something to help you raise your lock picking skills by a certain percentage. Yeah, higher level locks will cost you a lot of lock picks and a lot of time. Hence, I probably shouldn't do it, but I'll restore loop at some point a ring that will allow me to pick a lock much quickly or do it as 100%. I'm going to fast forward through a little bit here, or actually not looking forward. If you come out here to Skyrim, and you go to the top here. As you can see, there is the indicator where the Lost Scabbard book is. You can come up here. Again, some beautiful views. And then you go over to this trap door, which will take you down into the Fort Sunguard um, Armory or whatever it is. And this is where you have the dining hall, etc. You can do some cooking. I'm going to fast forward to the um, Lost Scarab. Okay, now this is the barracks area where the Lost Scarab is contained. There are some chests here, like this one. Lock picks are good. Potions are good. I'll come back to the last chest. But you pick up the book, and you can bring it back to Gorza. You have some metal ingots and some iron gauntlets that are useless. Um, sometimes the Forge Master's Fingers is also located here. But there's this last chest. And then what you want to do is when you, you can either exit through the door or anything else. What I'm doing is going back down here through the cooking area. And this area right here, 
There contains a pool and bath area, storage area. It has a secret exit to Skyrim, which I'm going to use. And that was what I was trying to look for. It's right here on the side of Fort Sunguard. And I was trying to find that and use that to exit. It's right there. You can get into Fort Sunguard that way, I believe. Uh, no, you can't. Anyway, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment. I do reply to comments. Please do subscribe. I thank all those who are subscribing to me. And if you like this type of video, well, I'm going to go over to Mark Karth here and return to Gorza, her book. I'm going to just fast forward real quick. Don't bother with task books. Don't know why the Imperials like these so much. This should help the boy, though. Malakath willing. Here, let me show you how an orc learns to smith. Gorza will raise your smithing skill, I think, four or five. I'm not sure. But if you are close to her level of being able to teach, then you'll only go up. I went up to level 60 because my skills are close to where she has maximum ability to teach. Uh, as I've stated, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. And every time I post, the videos will be put into your feed. I post four times a week, and you'll not miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.